My name is John. The few of you out there that recognize me uh, probably know me for some of the work that I've done for huge media mega corporations. Others might know me for the mishmash of low budget action adventure, science fiction, supernatural horror films that I've made over the past 20 years or so. But what I'm sure most of you don't know is that there's actually a lost film. About 22 years ago, I wrote a 12 page script for a short film called Oasis. And this character, Oasis, appeared in my first feature about 10 years after I wrote this script. So if you've seen that film, it's the same character. And it's kind of a psychological horror film. My friend Ben Beams convinced me that we should shoot this thing on 16 millimeter film with him as the director of photography. So Justin Spurlock, Ben Beams, and I, in the early days of our film group, West Havenbrook, set about shooting this film. We used a 16 millimeter Bolex that you had to crank, and the crank would compress a spring that would then allow the camera to run for about one minute. You had to set up the camera and the lighting with a light meter uh, because there was no screen to look at. Focus had to be set using a tape measure because you couldn't tell if the shot was in focus by looking through the viewfinder. So it's a very different process than most of us are used to now. But anyway, we shot the film. The only thing is we were all poor at the time, so we couldn't afford to get the film developed. Over time, we all moved on to other things and kind of forgot about it. So recently, my friend Philip Ruiz and I were out in the desert. He had this uh, Super 8 camera and we were just kind of burning through eight millimeter film. And it, it caused me to remember this film that we shot 22 years ago. And I told Phil about it. I told him the whole story. And he said, I want to see this film. These reels had all been exposed 22 years ago. So we were all very skeptical about uh, what the quality of the image would be. Um, or if there would be any image at all. So instead of developing all the reels, we randomly selected four and sent them off with Phil, who took them to Spectra in Hollywood. After a couple of weeks, Phil returned to my house with what looked like a small white pizza box. And he opened it and presented to me 400 feet of processed film. So we went upstairs to my edit bay and fired it up, and to my astonishment... Now that we know this worked, I guess it means that I have to try to finish the film. It's likely going to cost me a few thousand dollars at least uh, to get this project done, if it's possible. I still have to process 1,400 feet of film, get the actors back together to record a dialogue track, hire my good friend Glenn Gabriel to produce an original soundtrack, and who knows what other unforeseen expenses. So this promises to be a strange and interesting process. And I would like to invite you to follow along with the progress over at Patreon. I'm planning to put out a video like this maybe once a month. Um, they won't all necessarily be about this particular project um, as there are other projects I've been working on such as Book of Lies, which is a film I've been developing for years. So if you'd like to come along with us on the adventure of trying to finish a 22 year old lost film, and maybe see some other crazy stuff along the way, follow the project at my Patreon. I'll see you in the future. Mm -hmm.